Okay, I have to scoot over a little bit this way. You scoot over a little more. This oh. way. Yeah, you have to be closer to me, bud. You know where I'm moving the pillow! Yeah, she's sitting on a pillow. Because you're like, you're too short. You are! I'm really concerned about how I look. I need to be taller. Oh, we're so close, it's so weird. Fine, fine. <laughs> <laughs> no one sits that close. <laughs> you don't have to do that. Isn't that fun, though? You don't have to do that! Stop! <laughs> no, this is not the podcast, but go follow it, because no one follows it. I don't even know your intro. I don't watch your videos. <laughs> Hi, my name is Project Chen. No, 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 wait. Hi, I'm Fettuccine Alfredo. No, no. Hi, friends. My name is Font Size. Oh, and I'm Kiana. Let me get these out. Okay. I don't like how we're. No. Hi, my name is Font Size, and today That's I'm. That's not it. <laughs> what is it? Hi, friends. When do you say friends? I always say friends. You're like a kindergarten teacher. Hi, friends. Jesus Christ. Today I'm joined by. Kiana Mangita. Today's video is a little different. I have a guest with me, and she is a fellow member of the LGBTQ community. What letter are you? L. Exactly. First one. Exactly. Wait. The first one. I see a lot of female YouTubers doing videos like answering your questions you're too afraid to ask girls or like middle schoolers or high schoolers. Either cringy like dating life or actually informative like periods because no one ever talks about them. Mm -hmm. And I bet there's some people who are going to be like, ew, period. Well, guess what? You're going to deal with it one day because you're going to marry someone who will have one. So fuck up. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stop being so sensitive. Chad. Isn't that the name you used for your straight guy? Yeah. Persona? Yeah. Chad. It's not my persona, it's my cousin. Oh. Someone's actually gonna believe that. I asked you guys on Twitter to leave some questions that you're too afraid to ask the gays because I actually think that these could be helpful. Mm -hmm. Now, if they're straight up inappropriate, I'm not putting them in because I would like to keep this monetized, please. How do you prepare for a dick appointment? Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, you're up next after this. I'm just gonna say, when you're preparing to do it with someone else. Your boyfriend, maybe it's a hookup. Okay, so you're transferring the question. Yes. Yeah. I don't want people to get the narrative that gay people just like dick appointments because I don't approve of hookup culture. Yeah. I don't really hate it. Personally, I like shaving down below mm -hmm. and behind. Uh -huh. I'll shave my legs if I'm like really bored. Wow. I think it's fun. You feel like a dolphin. Okay. <laughs> like a beluga whale. Yes. <laughs> An orca. A slug. You, you just went like through the entire <laughs> ecosystem <laughs> of the earth. I'll shave. This part just in case I forgot to. Okay, aside from hair removal. <laughs> <laughs> this is a thing that people don't have to do, but like often you should. Is it true that you really do shit before you have sex? Mm -hmm. Not everyone does it. Yeah. But like if you can, do it mm -hmm. because you want to prevent poop eggplant. Okay. Change the words. I got you. Yeah. I got you. It's better for both of you in the long run because it saves you from embarrassment. But mm -hmm. it's also something you shouldn't judge. Yeah. It happens. It happens. Stuff happens. Shit happens. <laughs> you can also douche. Okay. Do you know what douching is? I recall from Sex Education. Yeah, so. Sex Education actually. That's a good show. It actually teaches you like informative yeah. stuff. So if you don't know what douching is, it's basically is there a visual. Um, maybe you shouldn't. Okay, how about this? Okay. It's like mouthwash for your bum. Boom. That could be a whole slogan. Douching mouthwash Wash for, for your, your bum. bum. Oh, Moira Rose. Douching <laughs> mouthwash for your bum. I guess opposite to that you don't have to shave so despite what everyone thinks just do what yeah. makes you comfortable i like doing it. i know especially with like girls though it's like such like a thing like people think it's so gross to not shave but it's so normal to not shave so you don't have it's to it's also healthier to yeah. not shave it's also healthier it's yeah, meant to protect that area there's not much preparation i feel like it's just be safe some people for gays will um pre <laughs> okay to pre-open uh -huh. it gotcha it's like, this is very tight. There's and I got it loose, the first time. Loosening <laughs> it a little bit so it's easier to pull. Yeah, got, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I think it's generally the same. As long as you're comfortable too. I don't shave for other people. I shave, shave for because yourself. I feel... I mean, if that's your thing, that's your thing. Yeah. But don't feel pressure too. Do you shave your peach? Yes. I don't necessarily shave the peach itself. I shave the core. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Why did the gays not like me? You? No. That oh, person. You. Them. Probably are just presenting yourself in a way that isn't approachable, that the gays just don't want to interact with. Or the gays don't deserve you. The gays don't deserve you. I'm straight. Are you going to bully me, Frederick? Yes! Right? Yes! Not, not exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no. Frederick will. It just depends. If you're a straight male, I'm very like, wow, you actually put up with my channel. Mm -hmm. If you're a straight girl, hey, 
Hey. I do it for the girls and the gays, that's, that's it. it. How hard is it to usually come out to your friends? My friend came out to me before anyone a couple months ago, and I'm not 100% sure how hard that is to do. She's still closeted to her family. Extremely easy. Yeah, I think coming out to friends is way easier than anyone else. Just make sure you just have the right friends. I mean, if they like suddenly react and they're like, ew, well then you know they're not your friend. Most assuming you're in high school or like middle school, you'll make better friends in college. Sometimes. And they won't judge you. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> what are your opinions on the stereotypes that are given to gays, like the more feminine ones and the more masculine ones? And do you think you fall into one of them completely or more than the other? That's a good question. Yeah. I fucking hate stereotypes. They don't make sense. We're already like a minority group, I guess you could say, like the LGBT yeah. community. And then and we we're, we're push already, stereotypes onto ourselves. We've already been pushed away from society yeah. and we're pushing ourselves more into these little like archetypes that yeah. no one needs to fit in. And then we judge each other within the community because like, oh, you're this, but you don't do this. You're a bottom who doesn't fucking wear makeup. Like, <laughs> No, yeah, I'm you're like, feminine. Don't wear makeup. Like, I don't know what that. Especially with, like, I feel like the lesbian community. Like, it's you're so quick to like go and like, okay, fem, stem, which I is, like literally stud has like racial backgrounds. Oh, and not then... not um science, technology, engineering, no, math. <laughs> no, and then well, there's like so many. Butch, I don't think anyone just is specifically one or the other. You shouldn't be. There's a lot of people who are like proud to be a bottom, go off, but like yeah. don't turn into your personality, please. At the end of the day, a top and a bottom is just the role you have during sex. Sometimes even. Because you can be verse. Switch. It's also weird because you kind of depend on stereotypes, which is a whole other thing. So either way, fuck all the stereotypes. Just right. be who you want to be and don't judge people by them. I think I fall into both feminine and masculine types. That's like within the LGBT community, LGBTQ community, but like outside of them, there's just stereotypes of just being gay, which is like... Femme. For gay males, at least. You're Femme for gay males, always. yeah, and then butch for like lesbians. Yeah, it's okay. The straights are uninformed. So we're here to inform. I'm mostly curious if you personally would date a trans person or not. I personally believe that if you are a trans person, that means you're trying to define as one of the genders. <laughs> and I'm attracted to one of the genders. So why wouldn't I date that gender then? Sorry, girls, I'm not gonna try to you. <laughs> it's not happening. If you present as a male, you identify as a male, and I'm attracted to you, yeah. What's stopping me? The dick. I just don't want to be so selective in terms of who I like. Cause then it's gonna be like I'm gay, but not. I won't date trans. Like that just reminds me of on Grinder when people like would say no rice. Right. Your take on people who aren't part of the. I'm gonna assume this is male love male community using the F slur because okay. I feel like a lot of people are using it incorrectly right now. But I don't know. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like the F slur. Sorry, I read that wrong. I thought it said are part of the MLM community. I don't like it being said. But if you're not even. LGBT and say it, you're disgusting. Hey, TikTokers. I want to know what the hets want to know. Hets. This is their new name. <laughs> I'm not het. What is it? Oh, 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 is this the new, like, <laughs> I'm not het, but I just want to know how y'all know if you're a top or bottom. Okay. I guess it just comes down to when you do it. Because you could be a top for someone and then a bottom for someone else. Yeah. I feel like. I mean, like, some people are very just like, no, I won't do anything else but top. Yeah, that's a thing. I think more, most of the time it's switch, but like, I guess in terms of when you like, I don't know. I don't know if anyone who's like is like I'm a top. Well, how'd you know? I'm not though, like 100. Me neither. It's like I think it's just it's it, like depends it depends on, on the person. person. Yeah. <laughs> there is no like you're born and it's like oh I I have a big butt I act more feminine I'm a bottom. No, it's not a thing. It just depends on when you're in the bedroom. Do you shave back there? Honestly, yeah. Back there? I'm gonna be below. Oh. Below there? Back there? When I think back, I think like back there. I, oh. think of, I didn't think of- Oh, you think of your back? Yeah, I didn't think of No, back. I was talking about my butt. Okay. No, yeah, I do shave back there. Do you? No. Okay. <laughs> How do you know you're not just straight? Oh. Did, did you fall in love? Just no? Seeing you made me realize I don't like women. <laughs> <laughs> After living with you, I've decided I don't want a brother. Stay into the mic. After living with Frederick, I've decided that I'm very lucky to not have a brother. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought boys were cute, like in school. I can't even like pinpoint like a person. I feel yeah. like I've just always, I'm like, I've said repetitively to people I've known since I was like five. And apparently if you're bisexual, you know if, when you see Jade and Beck next to each other. <laughs> like that's a meme. I've just always been attracted to boys and I thought girls were pretty. But then when I thought about it, I was like, no, I don't want to have sex with you. Yeah. I'm gay. I don't have any questions, but I love to listen to everyone. The, everything the heads want to say is where did it come from? I don't know. Where the heads come from? Where's the origin of that? <laughs> Twitter. Why is it when a guy acts more feminine, a lot of gay people start to joke that they're gay? Even today, we try to get rid of these stereotypes. This is confusing me too. The gays try to say like, is he? Mm -hmm. When a guy dares to show any femininity. Yeah. And it's like, you're just doing what people did to us mm -hmm. back then. It's like counterproductive to me. It, it, that's what I was trying to say earlier. It's like, it's 
horrible. Stereotypes are horrible, but it's so weird how we like depend on it well, to be able to tell. I mean, do people want to live in a world where there is no conception of femininity and masculinity? Exactly. Or do people like, no, you have to be straight. Like you can't yeah. try to become feminine like us gays. Like, either way, I appreciate it when straight guys can show femininity. Yeah, what are they called? Soft boys? Isn't that a whole stereotype now? On I hate, TikTok? I hate it. Those are boys who know that if they act soft, they'll get girls. Yeah. And I hate that. <laughs> How are we so fabulous? I don't know. You're gonna brush your hair back? <laughs> I'm just grab my rat tail. <laughs> is that a thing? Do gays and lesbians just have like, fucked up hair more often? I feel like the answer is yes, but it's just based off people I know. I want to know what heteros think we are. Why are some gay men against being a part of the LGBTQ umbrella? Internalized homophobia. That's it. Two words. <laughs> <laughs> Nine syllables. Sorry, it took me a minute. <laughs> thoughts on white gays. I think they mean thoughts on white gays who party in LA. It's like a gay Karen. White gays trademark is a gay Karen. I saw a TikTok, it was like gays for Trump. White gay. Yeah, I was like, uh, what? <laughs> How do you have sex? Uh. This is honestly important. They don't teach this in sex ed. Do we do a real answer? I was gonna do a fake one. Okay, fine, go for your fake one. Okay, so you stand back to back and you try- Ass to ass. Ass to ass and you have to try to get onto the floor without falling. <laughs> <laughs> and if you did it correctly, then you had sex. You had sex. <laughs> and for me, it was you stand back to back and you jiggle your butt mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. And if you do it for a long enough time, you'll become pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> they should teach about this because they do in other countries, just not the United States for the most part. Kind of like gay sex ed? Yeah. It's, Which really is, it's actually important. Because think about it, how, how did we all learn? You would have to go online and that could yeah. take you down dangerous routes. Exactly. So. Let me explain, and I, I'll actually be serious. Bumhole, schlong, <laughs> insert key to enter. And then, just so this is out there, this <laughs> is not real. Well, it is, but it shouldn't be. This is not the only way. I don't know why it's so popularized. Probably just because of straight men. It's because sexualizing of movies, women. scissoring. Yeah. So this is not real. That's also probably very uncomfortable. It's very do. uncomfortable. Use condoms, mm -hmm. use lube. Wash you your have, hands. Yes. I think people have to realize that you don't just shove it in there, like you have to prepare it. This could be a whole video on its own. It could. I'm not going to because that'll make yeah. it makes me very uncomfortable. It's not meant to take stuff back there. But people say it is because there is a G-spot, which is like the thing that gives pleasure. But you don't have that. That is in your there, papaya. Yeah. Yep. I was gonna say there's multiple spots, but yes. Yeah, for you. But for me, that's unlimited. <laughs> I'm limited to literally one area. It's this big, mm -hmm. the hole, and then like if of uh, a schlong. <laughs> a cucumber, usually this big, you have to like uh -huh. let it settle in. Okay. As an ace, I want to hear your two cents on the asexual and bisexual being questioned to be an actual part of the LGBTQ. Uh, I don't question it. I, don't I just question, it. question the one about. I don't, I don't even give them attention. It's a spectrum. Who says the whole you're. Point. Yeah. <laughs> don't date men. <laughs> I saw this TikTok and I was like, you're telling me lesbians have the power to not like men and also not be a man, but they still can't tell if someone's gay, like a girl's gay. What's the best way to react when someone comes out to you? Just be supportive. Yeah. Don't, I feel like you shouldn't say like, oh, I always knew. Yeah. Sometimes that's like not comforting to you. Then they start to worry like, oh, what did I, like yeah. do other people know? Cause they, when they first come out to you, yeah. that's just mean to you. Yeah. They, they, you don't know if anyone else wants to know. Cause like I got that and I'm like, okay, I got that too. I mean, that's, it doesn't make me feel Better. better. Mm -hmm. Like I think the best reaction is thank you. Thank you for coming. I'm proud of you. Something like that. Let's get lunch. Like it, it can... <laughs> let's get lunch. You don't have to. You don't have to talk about it so much. No. Like you just have to say thank you and like I'm here for you. I love you still even more. Like that's it. Yeah. Let's get lunch. Are you scared to look slash be gay in public? There are certain events, I guess, or situations where I try not to be. I try to be more feminine just so that it's. I don't know, it's like, maybe that's internalized on the plate, so I'm like, I make other people more comfortable. Well, when do you do it? Like, if we're going to like a dinner party with my family, mm -hmm. my family's fine with me, but like, just because I'm gonna be around other people, I'll be a little more feminine. Like, what does that mean for you? It means like, I'll put a dress on, oh. I'll do my makeup, okay. and like all that. Yeah. Which I, I like doing, yeah. I just wouldn't do it all the time. What is look slash be gay? Yeah, that's true. What does also. that mean to people? I don't think that should be a thing. They're saying there's a look straight, be straight, and then it's like you're sectioning them. God forbid they blend. I get it that for gay males is like, look, be gay, God forbid you wear this. Earrings that dangle, nails makeup, walk with your hips instead of your shoulders, Yeah. have good posture. Those are all things that anyone can do. In a professional setting, I'm not gonna do that probably. Maybe it is internalized homophobia. Maybe it is. Wow, I'm discovering myself. But I usually don't restrict myself. Now I'm like more comfortable. Yeah, her dick's all the way out. Erect. <laughs> is gaydar real? 
Yes. Oh, I like this one. Yes, but usually wrong. True. But once again, what are you... You were asking me that and I literally couldn't answer for you. Yeah. I just know. You just know. It's a twinkle in their eyes. <laughs> what are some of the most toxic qualities of LGBTQ people that you personally experience? Um, either they're gay and also homophobic? Yeah. Like, I'm gay, but I'm not a... Homophobic homosexuals, people who use those stereotypes and like only go by them. Like gays who say on the grinder, no rice, no Indians, no this. The lesbians that they're called hey mamas lesbians. Like hey mamas, I've never. Oh, heard uh, of that. do it, do it, do it. Hey mamas, <laughs> um, overpoweringly lesbian, like yeah. thinking they can turn any girl, like mm. stuff like that. I I think that's incredibly toxic. Mm. I, I don't like the gays that think they can turn people straight. Yeah, there's a lot of them out there. Do I know him? Yes. That's the tea. <laughs> they had the balls to say that. How do you feel about the fact that gay people are so sexualized to the point that it's the reason why homophobes don't like gay people and don't want people to be out and openly gay? I think it's because straight people just see what like Hollywood puts as gays. It's always movies. a lesbian who goes for like a married woman. That's always the plot. Didn't you say it was they're married to a man, leave for a woman or something? They don't leave for the woman. They oh. like have like an affair and then they oh. always go back to the man. Like that's always oh. like the plot. Oh, it's just like 20 seconds of, oh, let's have sex and like I'll go back to the man. Basically. So that's usually why there's a lesbian in like shows. And that mm. makes it look really bad because it's like we're only here to like be homeworkers basically yeah. or stupid stuff like that. And then gay guys, it's always like overly sexual and yeah. inappropriate. Yeah, I feel like it's becoming less, less like so. That. Like yeah. I think a really good example is Shit's Creek because. <laughs> What, of the, the sun. sun. Like that was a really nice yes. relationship. Thank you. It wasn't just a gay, it was just a good relationship. Right. I think the best example, not really the best, but like the L word, like it has lesbian relationships. Unfortunately, there is a lot of like drama, but I think that's the whole point of the show is to have mm -hmm. drama, but like I wish it were better. You know? Hold on. No, I'm gonna move this. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Thoughts on gay people not wanting to date bi or pan people because they have been with the other sex. <laughs> I think that's just like a whole That's a you problem. problem. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's like people who have trust issues with bi people. It's like you think bi people have higher chance to cheat. No, a cheater is just like a cheater. It's not because they're bi. Yeah, that's totally like their that's, own problem. Yeah, it's that, not. That's their issue. Yeah. Don't date them. Can trans people be lesbian gay? Yes. Yeah. Why do bi's want to say slurs so bad? There's like some people in the LGBTQ community who like love saying the slurs. I guess it's either they want to take back the power. That's what they, I was It was say. used against them. Something like that. Because it wasn't used against me. If anything, I've seen it used against other people and I'm in the same room. Which makes sense kind of. I don't. I personally I just, just don't, don't like, like it. Them. Yeah. Your diction can evolve past <laughs> that. How do the traditions of a hetero wedding translate to a gay wedding? I don't know. I like to believe is do whatever you want. Yeah. Rules are gone. We were talking about this. Like, why why do I have to have like a maid of honor? Why can't I have a best man? Yeah. Like, I mean, that's not really hetero. I like want I both. Mean, I feel like even heteros, like they can do whatever they want. Yeah. No, it's your wedding. <laughs> do what <laughs> you want. want. You're yeah. paying for that. Hey, lesbian here. Hi. Hi. Do gay men fantasize about dick? I want to say fantasize, but occasionally okay. we have the thought well do you have fantasies about peaches and personally papayas? no i feel like it's the person like i wouldn't just imagine the thing okay yeah i'll <laughs> i'll back that up it's not just like i care about that only i care about what's attached to it awesome that's it that was it there's only so many straight people that follow me on here if you have like any more questions i'll probably do another one on the podcast instead that's a little more like informative instead of having fun honestly if you have no shame google stuff it's actually very informative it taught me what a douche was if it's starting to go negatively just leave yeah. <laughs> don't try to go on adult sites yeah how about that yeah there and uh, parents just know that i am an educator first comedian second college student third if you enjoyed give this video a like Leave a comment down below. Subscribe for more videos every week. I post videos every Saturday. I have a second channel. The third channel. I have a third channel. All my social medias are Frederick Chin YT. That stands for YouTube, not Yeet or White. And as always, I love you guys and everything is less than three. You did it wrong. That's six. <laughs> less than three. No. <laughs> Papaya. Beach. Internalized homophobia. Internalize me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, bye.